So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to take data from Google Analytics, the Universal Analytics property. We are going to take all the data that exists there and we are going to back it up in BigQuery. We are going to use Fivetran for this. Um, I found this to be quite intuitive, easy to work with, and very quick to transfer data over to BigQuery. So we're going to take Google Analytics data through Fivetran into BigQuery. Okay. Once we're done that, and we have a certain that it looks good, what we are then going to do is look, data in BigQuery is fine, but how do you visualize it, right? That was the whole idea about um, Google Data Studio. We are able to visualize data for J3. So how do we do that in the future? Well, we'll use the same backup to create visualizations. As one of my teachers once told me, if you have not used your backup, then effectively you don't have a backup. Okay, so we're going to use that backup too. I'm going to show you where possible actual real live examples. I'm going to set up a connector right now in what you see in front of you, which is five time. Okay, so I'm going to explore connectors. In this case, Google Analytics is native, so are others. Okay, keep this in mind. You have HubSpot, you have Facebook ads, these are all native connectors, Google ads, okay? So that is something to keep in mind if you really wanna use this uh, tool for these other products too, okay? So we'll continue setup. We will say Google Analytics Analytics. I, I usually call it, um, you know, GA3 but let's just call it for the for our purposes because I think I've used this name before I'll call it universal analytics and then we'll authorize this okay simple to authorize nothing complicated here okay it's authorization through the Google environment no problem and instead of 12 months we'll take all time okay we will sync only specific accounts I don't really want to sync all my accounts but that is an option okay so I'm going to go here. In my accounts, I'm going to actually look for a very specific uh, property, which is the this one, my main view property. Uh, you can also take the raw data. You can actually do both, but I'll just use once. And then I will say, well, what are the reports that I want to uh, put this into? So I'm going to use pre-built reports. And they are all of these. So all of these reports are actually pre-built, which is very good. And I'm going to say universal analytics. And I can actually even use custom dimensions, which is amazing because you see here I can use uh, I can use an acquisition campaign, and I can use cost let's say um, and I can use users it even prompts you for this which is great right so new users it will tell me all the users too so <coughs> active users total users all of this stuff and I will just have to make sure that I use the right kind of dimensions and metrics together okay because otherwise it won't match and it won't work. So what we'll do is we'll go for the easier option and select everything here, okay? So instead of just a, a universal analytics because I'm, I'm doing several, I'm just gonna call them exactly that. Okay, AdWords campaigns, let's say. I'm gonna go okay, and I'm gonna add a report Again, I use a pre-built report. I'll use, you know, audience overview, right? And so I'll call it universal analytics, and then I'm gonna call it 
audience overview so here we have it okay and then I'll say okay to that too so now you have two reports and then so on we'll build all the other reports so I built all of these now and I can see that there I, I haven't used all of them but okay so I see that there is one that is you know misnamed okay um, so gosh that's a problem so I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to just add another this is this is an interesting thing because it should actually it should be possible to you know to rename it but I guess I guess they 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 want to make sure that everything is solid so here we go we're going to add this one to oh let me just put it this way let's see Oh, I missed the report, right? So, all right, I will uh, actually remove this and get the right report. So I got a couple more um, social media acquisitions and universal analytics traffic. And now let's just save and test it. So it goes through a check to see if the metrics and dimensions are and this is important because if you use a custom report, if you're building a custom report, it will fail many a time here, okay, at this step, when it tries to verify metrics and dimensions, okay? So just be aware that when you're making like custom reports, you make sure that you get the right uh, dimensions and metrics. I think you're allowed nine of each. So it'll take its time to verify. And when it is done, it will look like this. Okay. So we'll say continue. That's a very interesting one. I don't have any columns that I have any personal data stored, right? So which is it's a very good option to have, but I don't have any such columns. So I will start initial sync. So I went away, I, I had lunch, I relaxed a bit, took a nice nap, came back, and it's still sinking. Oh my goodness. And mine is a small site, so I, I wonder why. Anyways, it's, um, it's still sinking, it's going to do its thing, and uh, it's going to come back. So what I would recommend, however, is that, um, you know, have it sink every 24 hours instead of, actually uh, syncing immediately so let me see if it did that yes it did that so but you know what it did though, though is that it put some data uh, notice how I had set up some tables you know these sort of uh, table setups universal analyst universal underscore analytics underscore something well it did go ahead and put those tables uh, some of them at least in BigQuery so in my BigQuery environment, I'm looking at here, and let me refresh, because I saw them. So let me refresh. I'm in my BigQuery environment, and you see Universal Google Analytics, and these are the tables it's got, okay? Uh, it will store data in, a, in an interesting way. Uh, let me just preview it so I can show it to you. It's going to sh uh, store this data because it's got no other dimensions than the date. So it's going to sh this one is going to sh store it on the date. Um, if I were to do browser on OS, uh, it's going to store it on uh, date, browser, OS, you know, that sort of dimension. Um, and here, the campaign performance, it is going to sh store it as campaign and date you know and then the metrics with it so we have these metrics now note that we have them um, I am going to show you how to play with um, just audience okay 
because that's fairly easy to do. And I am, what I did was I looked at this and I said, all right, I'm going to go to Google um, Data Studio. Okay. I'm going to open up my Data Studio. And I am going to go to Data Sources. Okay. And I'm going to create a data source. And that will be from BigQuery. Right. And you note here, I have Universal Analytics. I have three tables, right? So I'm going to use this table, name it something, right? Uh, Universal Analytics Audience Overview and so on. So I'll have that data set. I have another data set because this is still syncing or something like that. So I'm not going to mess around with that. Let me go back to um, the data set that I do have. And that is an older backup I did for only one year's worth of data. And so you have these fields, okay? Now, what I did was I used this data set to create a very basic report here. So all you're seeing is that historical data that you have. And I'm using only one month's worth of data. Um, and you can understand how small you know, of a website I have. So you will see it take a little bit longer. But because it's coming from BigQuery, and it will show you this little thing here, accelerated by the BigQuery BI engine. So your data will come in very quick. Um, now, this is just one table. Uh, you will have to do things like, you know, in, for average pages per session, you'll actually have to, you know, you'll have to kind of um, do what, what it's called. You, you have to change decimal places. For bounce rate, what will happen is that you'll actually have to create a metric. Bounce rate of about 100 to get to like the percentage, okay? But other than that, I haven't found any issues. Now, granted, this backup that I'm just showing you is only for certain parts of your website. We are at this point not talking about revenue, e-commerce tracking, and so on, right? But as we see more of those, I will um, expose those to you in other videos, okay? So, just to rewind and recap, after all this time, what we did was we went, we'd gone into um, uh, BigQuery connectors, created a new connector. That connector, basically, what we did was, well, at least I did. Sorry, I'm implicating you by, uh, you know, by design, yeah? So, <laughs> Edit connection details. I'm just showing you what what I did. I created a database schema. I used uh, you know uh, my own account, and within that I used one particular GA3 account, and I created these tables. I tested them, right? So they work. Now we're basically running transformations on them, and I'm going to go back. Now we're basically taking them from. Uh, from from Google Analytics, the um, the API, you can actually see how this is working. Okay, so we're making API calls, and we're taking the data into a BigQuery environment. So the BigQuery environment will have six or seven tables when it is all done, right? And the good part though is that when I look at this, and you know I keep looking at this because I am a little bit concerned that. I am, you know, I'm kind of taking advantage of these people. But anyways, uh, right now, I don't have any cost, okay? My, I think I'm, I'm still on the free account at this point. Um, if you have a bigger site, you won't be. Anyway, so I have the data here. When I get the data here, I can create uh, a connector using uh, BigQuery connector, uh, default connector in uh, Logo Studio, and therefore, to recreate my old reports, I can just go back in here and you know what, recreate the reports from the GA3 data. So you are not going to lose your data. You're actually going to have it in such a way that you can actually utilize it well, okay? Um, and it, it, because it's be kind of aggregated, right? So bounce rate is kind of aggregated by day. Uh, so it's not really precisely bounce but you know what it is, right? So it's not precisely bounce, it's more like a, an average of bounce rates over time. But you have the data, okay? 
And I think this will go a long way in easing people's concerns about what happens when GA3 goes away. That was the whole idea. What happens when GA3 goes away? Can you look at your metrics still? And the answer is yes. And this was this video was uh, an attempt to get at a good answer for everybody so that nobody's, you know, uh, hyperventilating. All right. Thank you very much for listening. Really appreciate that.